What is up everybody? So today I am going to talk about the ultimate bear hunt the movie fight. So there is going to be a lot of people fighting each other in the ultimate bear hunt battle. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna analyze every single one of them in a 1v1 battle and who is going to win, alright? So first off we have New Jesus Lan versus Marku Man. I'm gonna scale the power levels with Legend of Niger power levels, right? If I scale by that, that means New Jesus Lan is winning by majority. Super big easy win from New Jesus Lan. But that doesn't mean Marku wasn't a great fight. Marku indeed is a really strong opponent and doesn't need to be underestimated. Marku could easily beat everybody solo. Okay, not everybody, but Marku could beat everybody in this list, almost. Next, we have White Ox versus Marine. So, technically speaking, these two are really, really close together and the fight would be really, really hard fun. But at the end, I feel like Marinx will take the dub because he has the advantage. He has been trained with the strongest hero group. He is Marku's right hand man. So he is, he's actually the underdog of this list. So Marring Man, he's taking the dub. So next we have Nedric versus XX Testicle for life. So this fight is really easily won by Nedric for a lot of reasons. Nedric would just go on a six star rampage and nothing can stop that. So Nedric is taking the W. So next we have Puaro versus the Teaching Brower. So this is a really really easy fight for Puaro. Puaro is easily taken up because Puaro is one of the strongest Legend of Niger characters there is. Literally an upcoming god. He was so strong even the Dark Spirit acknowledged his uh, strength and he really acknowledged his, um, his power and wasn't taken granted and wasn't like taken sl uh, slightly. He was probably the strongest opponent that Dark Spirit has had, uh, which we know. Alright, the next we have Elisa versus the Glock. I mean, the Glock is winning because he got the Glock. Alright, next we have Nikado Avocado versus Bowen. So this fight could go both ways. Either Bowen breaks his ankles and he is Ardings, or Nikado Avocado just eats him. It really depends on the situation they are in. If Bowen is Ardas, then he is winning. If Nikado Avocado is really hungry, then he is winning. So this fight could go either way. So I'm I'm giving this a draw. So next fight is the Angry Grandpa versus Yuri Skalnich. A really tough battle. The Angry Grandpa's special moves is that his asshole burns and he can shoot fire from his ass. But Yuri Skalnich can also observe it by eating it and by vomiting it. I feel like Yuri Skalnich is a really hard counter to the Angry Grandpa so I'm, I'm saying Yuri Skalnich is taking the W. Next we have Robert Zapala versus the Prison Shower Brower. So with this one, it really depends if Robert Zapala drops the soap. If he doesn't drop the soap, he can just put his Geometry Dash character on his use and kill the Prison Shower Brower. If he drops the soap, then it's uh, the end for Robert Zapala, but I think Robert Zapala takes the W here. Next we have DD Amajad versus Bright P. Bright P is the Indian god. DD Amajad and Bright P would be a really, really tough battle. It could go s both ways. We don't know who could win. It is one of those battles which is which could just go days and days and days and never know who wins. So I'm giving this a draw. Next we have Yusuf Amir versus Kiesha. So with Yusuf Amir, we know that he's the baby. He has he he has the now the knowledge that Marquis has, so he can build the same wall as Marquis. It is going to be really hard to Kiesha to like break the walls, and he can also pull Kiesha's pants down, which is going to make him even weaker. So Yusuf Amir is taking the dub easily. Next we have Grigory Smirnov versus Devak. Grigory Smirnov is the technician god. He's like the Boba Fett of our bed hunt. He can just create weapons, create a lot of stuff, and I feel like he could just outsmart Devak with weapons and eventually kill him. So Grigory Smirnov is taking the W. And the last battle we have is Kane Gamag versus afro-american scare so this is a really really close battle because one of them can skate real hard to hit him because kanga mug he's a really heavy guy so he is not really fast but he's a really heavy hitter so it's basically agility versus strength so it could go either way i feel like if both of them can use their advantage at the fullest it can go both ways and they can both win but i think kanga mug is still going to become victorious because of his endurance and his strength and i think 
think if he lands one hit, he's going to be enough to take down Afro-American Skater. Alright, I hope y'all enjoyed this list. This is the only one predictions if they had a fight. Let me know in the comments what you think who would win those fights. Thank you for watching, man. Fight like a man, pussy! Yeah! This is it! Do svidanja, San Andreas!